Hey everyone, Daniel from Compujum here. Today I am going to present you our new extension CMandrew. First of all, if you remember back in April 2012, we released a small plugin that integrated with the Mandrew API. Since then, we've been using the Mandrew service on Compujum.com to send the emails for registration, subscription purchases, form notification, etc. It's awesome to know that our emails are now being sent faster than the emails confirming a payment from PayPal, for example. And all this is only possible thanks to the Mandrew API. The longer we use the service, the more we realize that we need an even better integration with Joomla. And today it's here. So let's install the Simandrew extension and I'll show you why it's really awesome. First of all, as usual, we'll need to go to the backend of our Joomla installation. Navigate to Extensions, Extension Manager. Now we'll select on the package with the Simandrew extension and we'll click on Upload and Install. The first thing that we need to do now is to provide our API key. We'll do that by going to Components, Simandrew, and over at the top we'll select Options. Now we need to provide our Mandrew API key in the field here. So that's why we'll go to the Mandrew website. And if you go here to SNTP and Epic Credentials, you'll be presented with this screen over here. And I'll just copy this key. And then I'll paste it over here. Now I can save this. And you'll see that the dashboard already got populated with statistics. Now, if we want our website to send the emails through the Mandrew service, we'll need to also enable the system Mandrew plugin. Since it's currently not enabled, the extension is warning us about that and we can use this link over here to go directly to Joomla's plugin manager and enable the plugin. So I'll click over here and now the extension and the plugin are both configured. To test all this, let us create a new Joomla user in the front end of our website. We'll fill this form here. We should now get an email confirming the registration. So let me have a look in our inbox. Here it is. The email just got in. Thank you for registering at our local host. Um, as you can see, the email is not very pretty. It's just plain text. Now, this is where Mandrew's template come into play. Let us have a quick look at the templates that we have created in Mandrew. To do this, we'll need to click on Outbound Templates and then on My Templates. We currently have three templates, a global one, one for the user's component and one uh, for the registration task of the user's component. Let us have a look at the global template first. As you can see, it is standard HTML. And uh, if you know MailChimp, you'll notice that we have an um, editable region over here, main content. This is where the actual content of the mail sent from Joomla is going to go. So let us go back. The users and the registration template are basically the same as the CompuJoom default template. The only difference is that they have a little bit more text after the editable region. We just output thank you for registering, etc. So now that we've seen the templates in Mandrew, let's configure our extension to use them. We'll go to the backend of um, the C Mandrew extension, click on templates, so click on templates over here. And now we'll create a new template by clicking on New. This is going to be our global template. 
uh, it is publish it. We don't need to set a start and finish dates. Now it is going to use the Compujum default template that we saw, and this is going to be a global template. We will save and close this. Now that we've added a global template, let us test this by creating a new user. This time we'll create it through the backend. Type Daniel contact us. Let me now have a look at our email. And there it is already. As you can see, we have now a beautiful HTML template with the content. Hello, contact. You have been added as a Joomla user. Um, follow on Twitter, friend on Facebook. And that is this is only because we have a Mandrew template. Now we can go one step further and I will show you how to use custom templates per component. Let me close this. We'll go again to the Mandrew component and we're going to create a new template just for the com users component. Users and here I'll select users template and this one is only going to be active on the com users component. I'll save and close this. So now let us use the mass mail users feature in Joomla to send an email to all our registered users. Test email, test email. I'll send this to everyone in the registered user group. And now I have a look in my inbox. And here is the email that we've just received. As you can see, the test email content is here. And down here, you see this was our fancy template for the com users component. Now I can demonstrate you how to use even a further customized template. So we'll go back to the Mandrill extension. to templates we'll create a new template registration this time we will select registration template and this is a component for com users and the task for registration is register so now I will save this And before I register a new user in the front end, I'll delete those two that I just created. So let me create a new account. And click on register. One second later, the email is already in my inbox and let us have a look at it. This is the standard text from the Joomla email and at the bottom you see thank you for registering. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, then you don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. So this is how you use custom templates with the Mandrew extension. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you also want your Joomla installation to send such beautiful emails, then create an account on mandrew.com, get the Simandrew extension from CompuJoom and just start using it.